What's up everyone? It's been a very long time since I did a video game video. Um, somebody left me a comment on one of my videos about Dead Space. Um, I wrote back saying it's so much easier for you to, um, to learn how to compile the files yourself, but he or she turned around and said, I, I do this. It's so much easier for, for you to do it, so that's why I'm here. Um, first things first is I booted up my PlayStation Vita for the very first time, and um, um, going to the auto plugin too because it'll update it for you. There's a new updated version of auto plugin too. Along with that, there is a new version of Cubridge, which you're going to which you're going to need. Um, don't use the official flow anymore. That's long gone. That's overdue. Um, this is the version you need, version 0.3. Now, if you have auto plugin two installed and updated this it will actually install the updated cubridge for you um or you can always go to this website right here download it drag and drop it in um enter the code and you should be good to go but uh use auto plugin too it's so much easier people um today we're going to be working on dead space version 1.2 these are the requirements you need So I'm going to download the VPK. All right. As you can tell, here's the Android files. Let's go download VPK. I'm going to be doing everything um, through the Windows Explorer. I'm not going to use the FTP method. Let's close out of that. Um, and um, we'll just... Pop open to the PlayStation Vita and get this thing rolling, guys. Stick with me. All right, we're here over the uh, PlayStation Vita side of things. Um, I load into the um, video show. Next, you want to hit the start button. Now you want to scroll down to where it says USB. You change it over, FTP. You want to use the USB method. So I'm already plugged in to my laptop right now. And I'm going to hit... Back this out. I'm going to hit select. And I'm going to go from there. We're going to go back to the PC. And we're going to drag and drop files over. And uh, we should be good to go. Alrighty. We're back over on the PC side of things now. Um, what we want to do is we're using the um, USB method. As I showed you in the previous clip that I'm already connected. I'm going to Windows Explorer. I'm going to find your USB drive, which mine is D. Now this is what it looks like on your um, through Vita Shell on your SD card. You want to go to Data. Now you want to drag and drop. It's going to take some time. Um, I want to show you something too. This is the setup of instructions for you guys. Um, please read this before you start anything. Um, don't install FD Fix if you're using Repatch plugin. I'm already using the FD fix. I don't use repatch whatsoever. Um, even this is even a good uh, comment as well about the Q bridge. So please take your time and read so you can learn and understand what's going on. So you don't come back to me and say, "Hey, something's messed up. What I do wrong?" I mean, I don't mind trying to help you. I don't know everything, of course, but it's very important that you guys take the time, read, learn understand how things are um, installed but um the links will be down in the description below as, as always yeah 65 percent not bad so once this is done i'm going to go back to the main um what do you call it? the main tree i guess where all the folders are main index i should say and we're going to be dragging and dropping the Dead Space um, VPK file, which is right there, as you can see. So let's scroll down. Now it's up to you if you want to use a folder for VPKs. If you don't, that's fine. I like to keep things organized. And that's it. From here on out, I'm going to disconnect. Um, I'm going to close out of this, um, this menu or screen or whatever. Go back to, to the Vita. I'm going to boot up the game, we're going to reboot the system, and go from there, and hopefully you guys enjoy the video, I'll, I won't talk to, I won't talk during the video of the game, like I usually do, don't, anyway, I'm just rambling on, I'm extremely tired, it is 
75 degrees here in Connecticut in the U.S. of A. For some odd reason, Saturday through Sunday was like 70s, high 75. It's just weird. It's November. It should be cold. So I hate the heat. I don't do well in the heat. But regardless, let's go back to the P um, PlayStation Vita side of things, people. All right, we're back over at the PlayStation Vita side of things. I want to show you that under the UX Zero, go down the data. There's Dead Space folder. There's the files. Scroll back. Install the Dead Space VBK. Now that this is installed, you're more than welcome to hit the triangle and delete. Or you could always keep it. It's a small VPK file. It's totally up to you guys. What I like to do is hit start. I like to reboot. Or if you don't want to do that, just hit the PlayStation button, swipe out, and then start your game. It's totally up to you guys. There you guys go. From here on out, I won't make a word or sound or anything like that. Um, I will say that um, on the web page of the GitHub, they show the controls on how to use um, how to play the game and what controls you should use. So please check that out, um, along with um, reading the setup instructions, if you care to learn and understand um, how to go about installing these Android ports. Um, so if you like, if you like, dislike, if you dislike, and I am out of here. Thank you once again, guys. It's been a long time, um, for a video, and, um, I've just been playing the new Call of Duty, and that's pretty much it. So, without further ado, let's start. Side note, remember most of these games do start out very slow until you um, play the game once again. <laughs> 